and back again with an update about uh, the Dell computer. We're going to do a little upgrade on this since uh, it's an older machine. We we'll put an SSD in it. I'll get to that in a second. What we've got is a Dell Inspiron 530. Not to be confused with other 530s with a letter after the 530. This is the full size desktop. It's an older machine. It's 10, 11 years old. And as you can see, originally with Windows Vista, it's got a Core 2 Quad Q6600 in it. 2.4 gigahertz, which I have overclocked, believe it or not, with a piece of tape to 3 gigahertz. If you don't believe me, just look up Q6600 B cell mod on Google and you'll find it. But there we go. Uh, it's old. I don't know how old the hard drive is in it. I bought this and did some mods to it, got Windows 10 on it to do some gaming, primarily PUBG. It's working okay. It's not horrible. Frame rate's not bad. I don't know what the exact frame rate is because I don't know how to do that. I'll admit that off the top. But looking around, it seems like if you put a solid state drive in it, Windows will boot faster and the game will load faster and the game will actually work better. So that's what we're going to do. What we got here is a crucial MX500 2.5 inch solid state drive. I got this direct from Crucial, which is they actually have the best price out there that I could find. And I do I do good shopping on Google, let me tell you. It's a 500 gig, half terabyte. And it was $72 delivered. Uh, does not come with a SATA cable, by the way. It does come with uh, some spacers in there and a little hardware and a cloning piece of software. So you can clone the hard drive in your machine to this and then use this as your boot drive. I'll show you that later when I go to set it up and install it. But uh, no SATA cable. I went ahead and got that for Newegg. It's like three bucks delivered. Takes about a week. I can't find a SATA cable locally to save my life. Maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know. But hey, best I could find. Staple, Staples had one, but they wanted like 20 bucks for it. I'm not doing that. Budget gaming. You know how it goes. But there you go. It's shut down. We're going to do cold boot. And show the cold boot time on Windows 10. And then the boot time on PUBG once the computer's up and ready to go. I do have Discord and Steam on this. Let's see if we can see. Yeah, can we see good? Good here? Yeah. Let me tilt you back a little bit. There we go. So, Discord and Steam load up whenever Windows loads up. Got my handy dandy cheap phone stopwatch here. And we're going to run it that way. So, cold boot time. I will fast forward through this so as not to bore you. But we'll get it going. And new time. And power up. Start. And by the way, I'm going to run the time until... Um, it actually gets everything loaded up, not just the icons up. And still loading. And stop. Three minutes, 18 seconds. 
and that's everything loaded and hard disk drive light goes out and computer ready to go it's not doing anything okay so now we're gonna see how long it takes PUBG to load and I'm gonna do the same thing up, up until the time that it just stops loading no more hard drive activity and here we go there okay almost a minute 55 to get up and load it in for all hard drive activity to stop almost two minutes pretty slow <laughs> but uh, hey what do you expect so there we go there's our baselines don't know if I'm gonna run through the, the recording of the uh, cloning process or not at least the program set up there's lots of uh, videos on YouTube about how to do that, so you can you can look that up. It's not hard to do, and like I said, it's really nice. Crucial sends you a, a software program to let you cl clone your hard drive to the new solid state drive. Then you have to go in your BIOS and change your boot order to the solid state drive first, and everything's fine. Again, YouTube's got videos on this. You can look it up. It's not hard to do. Don't be afraid of it. Not a problem. Next. Okay, so it's a couple days later. I got my SATA cable in. I uh, got the disk installed okay, the, the SSD. Uh, took a little bit of doing. Won't go into the details, but I eh. had a bit of a cable problem. The power, one of the power pigtails in there just wasn't quite long enough to reach after I mounted it. So I had to unmount it, put the power cable in it, then remount it, and then it would fit. You know how this stuff goes. Um, pfft. Got the Acronis True Image software, which is uh, free to use from Crucial. And cloned the old hard disk drive to the solid state drive. That went fine. Took about 20, 25 minutes for about mm, 100 gig. Not too bad for this old machine. Uh, went into BIOS. Thought I changed the boot order. A little bit on that coming up. It was, and I, then I, Get it booted up, and it seemed to be a little bit faster, but not the big change I was expecting. Went to Task Manager, and it still seemed to be working just from the old hard drive, the old C drive. And the new drive actually wasn't even there at first. I had to actually go into Disk Management, right-click uh, your Windows Start button in the left-hand corner, go to Disk Management, and you actually have to initialize the drive. It'll show you the drive in there, and you put your cursor on it, right-click, and it'll say something about simple drive. You click on that, and it turns it online. Otherwise, it's offline, and that's no good. Go back, restart it, try it again. Now, I'm actually able to see the drive in File Explorer. It's actually there, but the task manager still said it was booting from C. Went back, rechecked BIOS, hello blue, whatever. Turns out, user error. I was in the wrong part of BIOS to actually set the boot order. Uh, you learn these things as you go. But I'm going to show you that here on this start. Uh, I'm going to do a cold boot on it and go straight into BIOS and show you that so you know what the deal is. I'll let it in fast forward get into that point just so I don't bore you. Power, let's power up and have a look. Okay, there we go. Boot device configuration. Now, again, this is an older machine. This was made in 08. This is an old style BIOS. Boot device configuration. Use your arrow keys to get to it. Down here. 
And when I see, I was messing with this because it's showing as a removable drive. That's disabled. That's enabled. In fact, I should change that to enabled. <laughs> or leave it alone, whatever. But what I wasn't seeing was this. Hard disk boot priority. Duh! <laughs> yeah, it's the way it goes. Enter into that. See the WDC right there? That's the Western Digital hard disk drive that I had in there. It's the 320 gig one that Dell provided when it was new. CT500, MX500. That's the crucial MX500 SSD solid state drive, as you can see. I had this order wrong. That was actually showing in the second position. I had to change the order. Over here on the right, it says use your arrow keys to move it up on the list, down on the list, whatever. That's what I did. So it's all there. Now we're going to escape this and escape that and go back to there. And one more escape is quit, and it'll start the boot sequence. So I'll get the stopwatch going here. And we'll see what she does. Okay. As soon as I hit escape, it should, it should start right away. without saving yes and off we go boom Yeah, that's my name. Yeah, load up all the icons and until we get... There we go. Boom. Disk activity stopped. 34 seconds. If you saw the first part of this, it was almost four minutes to get everything up and running. And now it's just updating Steam and Discord. 34 seconds for Windows, and look how fast Discord comes up. Steam's already updated, bam. And it's ready. All done. Now we're going to see what we can do and how fast PUBG loads. Oops. Reset. minute six. It took almost two minutes last time, if not a little bit more. I go back and check. I'll, I'll post the times here. But that's twice as fast. It's three times faster on the Windows startup. And now some pretty music. So there we go. And before, when I exit the desktop, the music used to keep playing for like five or six seconds. And listen to this. Boom. Gone. Isn't that great? So that's got it fixed. It's now booting and operating from the solid state drive. Just a little bit of a problem there. Uh, if you have the same problem, don't freak out. Hopefully this information is going to help you. I looked all over YouTube and Google and I couldn't find anybody that talked about putting the solid state drive in and keeping the old hard drive for storage and they don't tell you much of anything and there's no specific information. Pain in the butt. But hey, we figured it out. Look how fast Google loads. Isn't that awesome? 
an acrobat. Boom. Lots, lots faster. There we go, folks. Hope that information helps y'all. Got it solved. Hopefully my gaming is going to go a lot better now because now I'm re it's reading all the game information from the solid state drive, which is faster. And everything will be faster. But see, it's possible. You can do it. Take your time. Think about it. Look carefully in your BIOS. Don't be like me. That's why I post these things. I do them wrong so you can learn from my mistakes. I don't mind doing it. If I look like a fool, I look like a fool. If it helps somebody out, I don't care. Great by me. So there we go. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again to all my subscribers. You guys are the best. Don't know what we'll be getting into next. Stay tuned. We'll see what we find. See you next time. Bye.